All right, let's get started. We'll start with a vanilla cupcake. And I have a mini helper with me today. So my son is gonna try and do this cupcake. Let's see how easy it is. So um, we'll start by combining the dry ingredients in a bowl. So we'll start with the flour. So we'll put the flour in a large bowl. There you go. And then we will add sugar. And then we have the baking powder and the salt. And then we will just give it a mix to make sure everything is combined. Very good. Should be good. Thank you. Now we're going to go to the wet ingredients. We're also going to combine them in a, in a separate bowl. So we will start with the milk. So make sure your milk is warm temperature. Sorry, not warm temperature, but room temperature, I meant. And then we will add the vegetable oil. Good job. And we'll add the eggs. All right, so I'm gonna do the eggs because my son hates cracking the eggs. So let's put two eggs, one and another one. All right, and then we're going to give that a stir. Let's mix the dry, the wet ingredients. All right, so I'm going to do the eggs because my son hates cracking the eggs. So let's put two eggs, one and another one. Now we're going to combine our wet and dry ingredients. very well so give it a good mix so give it a good mix okay let me help you get that one i feel you all right so that looks good we're going to add the vanilla And we'll also add the vanilla beans. So we have a whole pot of vanilla here. Oh, I don't think you can see that. You're gonna cut it in the middle. Alright, and try to scrape the beans inside. Now, just a little bit of trivia. Our vanilla beans are actually from Tahiti. My my husband is originally from Tahiti. So when his parents came over to visit us here in France, they gave me a whole pack of vanilla beans and I'm very happy about it. They smell really good right now. So give it a good mix. Okay, let me help you. Get that one. I feel useless for finding it. Alright, 
think we're good with the vanilla. Now you're gonna mix it until it's well combined. Make sure you get all the last bits of vanilla. So give it a good mix. Okay, let me help you. Get the other one. I feel useless for finding it. So now I have um, transferred my batter in a pitcher, actually, because there's quite a lot of um, volume and it will be easier for us to pour it. And I have my cupcake liners ready. Um, if you notice, I have the silicon layer um, as a double because the sizes of my, my tin is a bit bigger than what I would want them to be. So that's why I put that. But you don't have to do that, of course. Now we're gonna try and pour it. So now I have um, transferred my batter in a pitcher, actually, because there's quite a lot of um, volume and it will be easier for us to pour it. And I have my cupcake liners ready. Um, if you notice, I have the silicon layer um, as a double because the sizes of my, my tin is a bit bigger than what I would want them to be. So that's why I put that. So now we're going to bake our batter in a preheated oven at 200 degree Celsius. There you go. Yeah, so now we're going to make the speculous frost frosting or butter cookie frosting. We'll start with um, room temperature softened butter and we will mix it in medium speed for about five minutes until it's creamy. Just make you cream. Yeah, so now we're going to make the speculous frost frosting or butter cookie frosting. We'll start with um, room temperature softened butter and we will mix it in medium speed for about 5 minutes until it's creamy. <laughs> Next, we're going to add our uh, speculoos butter cookie. Um, I have a, I think this is 400 grams and I'm going to add about 200, a little over 200 grams. So that's a little over half of this um, container bottle. Next, we're going to add our uh, speculoos butter cookie. Um, I have a, I think this is 400 grams and I'm going to add about 200, a little over 200 grams. So that's a little over half of this. And then next we're going to add um, a bit of cinnamon, just about a fourth this teaspoon. And we'll add maybe one third of our powdered sugar. And then keep mixing it. Okay. And then next we're going to add... Um, just a bit of vanilla extract probably about one fourth teaspoon and we will also gradually add our heavy cream I will start one tablespoon at a time until you obtain the right consistency <laughs> now we're going to add just a bit of vanilla extract probably about one fourth teaspoon. And we will also gradually add our heavy cream. I will start one tablespoon at a time until you obtain the right consistency. <laughs>